Hello students, you should remember the derivatives of these standard functions and you can solve the problem directly applying these results. The first one is d by dx of constant function which is equal to 0. Here d by dx of constant is 0 means if c is any constant its derivative is 0. For example, what is d by dx of 5 is equal to 0. Remember, while writing d by dx, you do not write uh, like this, d by dx of some function that is for example 2x plus 3, do not write like this 2x plus 3 and it is not a division, it is an operator and that is why while writing the derivative, you have to write just d by dx of something, any function and it is not division and uh, here d by dx of 5 is 0 what is d by dx of 2.3 d by dx of 2.3 is equal to 0 any constant its derivative is 0 what is d by dx of 1 d by dx of 1 is equal to 0 what is d by dx of pi d by dx of pi is equal to 0. Here in general d by dx of c is equal to 0 and uh, whenever the problem comes you can directly apply this result and solve the problem. And the second result is d by dx of x to the power n is equal to n x to the power n minus 1. Here where n is any real number this result holds and in particular n is 1 here when n is 1 it is 1 into x to the power 1 minus 1 what is 1 1 minus 1 0 and that is equal to 1 d by dx of x equal to 1 remember this repeatedly we will apply these results and d by dx of root x is equal to 1 by 2 root x. Here this formula itself applied here to get this result. Next one is d by dx of x to the power minus 1 is equal to minus 1 by x to the power 2 or minus 1 by x square that is when n equal to minus 1 it is minus 1 into x to the power minus 1 minus 1 that is minus 1 by x square and remember this. And next one is the derivative of trigonometric functions, you remember the derivatives of all the six trigonometric functions. d by dx of sin x is equal to cos x, d by dx of cos x is equal to minus sin x, d by dx of tan x is equal to sec square x and d by dx of cosec x is equal to minus cosec x into cot x, d by dx of sec x is equal to sec x into tan x and d by dx of cot x is equal to minus cos x square x. You should remember all these standard derivatives. And in addition, you should remember the rules of derivative. And the first rule says, derivative of sum of two function is sum of the derivatives of the function. That is d by dx of f of x plus g of x is equal to d by dx of f of x plus d by dx of g of x. For example, if we take the sum of two functions, for example, if we want to find d by dx of sum of two functions, let us take that is x square, x square is one function plus sin x, sin x is another function. And if you want to find the derivative of sum of the two function, and that is equal to sum of the derivatives it is d by dx of first function that is x square plus t by dx of second function what is second function here sin x d by dx of sin x and you know the derivatives of these function and in the next step you can write the answer what is derivative of x square 2x you should remember this x to the power n what is derivative of x to the power n n x to the power n minus 1 that is 2 x to the power 2 minus 1 that is 2x 
plus what is derivative of sin x cos x and uh, this is the answer for this problem and uh, this is the method of applying this rule next the second rule is derivative of difference of two function is difference of the derivatives of the function that is d by dx of f of x minus g of x equal to d by dx of f of x minus d by dx of g of x and suppose if you want to find the suppose if you want to find the derivative of difference of two functions like this and if you want to find d by dx of difference of two functions let us take for example x cube minus tan x and if you want to find the derivative of this and if we apply the formula it will become derivative of first function minus derivative of second function that is d by dx of x cube minus d by dx of second function is tan x and what is d by dx of x cube that is 3x square 3x square and what is derivative of tan x derivative of tan x is 6 square x and this is the answer for this problem next the third rule is derivative of product of two function is given by the following rule which is called product rule that is d by dx of f of x into g of x is equal to first function f of x into d by dx of g of x second function plus second function g of x into d by dx of f of x and this is called product rule when the product of two functions are given you should apply this rule for example i will find the derivative of the product of two functions that is dy dx of first function i will take x into second function is cos x and uh, it is a product of two function and you can e apply the product rule and what happens first function f of x here what is f of x x here f of x into dy dx of g of x what is f of x x into dy dx of g of x what is g of x cos x plus second function cos x into dy dx of first function what is the first function here first function is x dy dx of x and this is the application of the formula and you know the derivative of cos x as well as x in the next step you can apply the standard formula what is derivative of cos x minus sin x this you should remember minus sin x plus cos x into cos x into what is d by dx of x 1 and you can write like this minus x sin x plus cos x and finally you can write like this and this is the derivative of the product of two functions and the fourth rule is that is called quotient formula derivative of quotient of two functions is given by the following rule that is called quotient rule when the denominator is non-zero that is d by dx of f of x divided by g of x is equal to see here in this formula first you have to write denominator that is g of x into d by dx of f of x minus f of x into d by dx of g of x whole divided by g of x whole square and this is called quotient rule when the quotient of two function is given you have to apply this formula now let us take this example if i want to find the derivative of quotient of two functions that is d by dx of x square divided by sin x and uh, it is quotient of two function and uh, you have to apply the quotient rule first you have to write denominator g of x what is g of x g of x is sin x sin x into d by dx of x square 
g of x into d by dx of f of x what is f of x here x square minus f of x what is f of x here x square into d by dx of sin x by dx of sin x g of x divided by g of x whole square that is sin x whole square and this is the formula just recall this formula d by dx of f of x divided by g of x equal to g of x into d by dx of f of x minus f of x into d by dx of g of x divided by g of x whole square next step is simple just write the derivatives of this that is sin x into what is derivative of x square derivative of x square is 2x into 2x minus x square and what is derivative of sin x cos x divided by sin x whole square sin square x sin square x and this is the method of applying the formula and just to practice i have given this example and you should practice more questions so that you should be fluent in application of these rules which is very very important and the last rule is derivative of product of constant and a function is given by the following rule that is d by dx of k into f of x equal to k into d by dx of f of x for example if you want to find the d by dx of some constant i'll take for example i'll take 3x square and if you want to find the derivative of 3x square here 3 is constant the constant can be taken outside and write d by dx of x square this is the application of the rule and uh, what is derivative of x square that's equal to 2x that is 3 into 2x and that's equal to 6x next uh, just uh, in brief you can memorize the formula like this instead of f of x and g of x if you write u and v and dash f than the derivative and u plus v dash is equal to u dash plus v dash here dash represent derivative of the function u minus v dash is equal to u dash minus v dash u into v dash that is product of two function is equal to first function into derivative of second function u into v dash plus v into u dash and uh, u by v dash is equal to first you have to take v g of x that is v into derivative of numerator u dash v u dash minus u v dash divided by g of x whole square what is g of x here v v square and last one is constant can be taken outside that is k into u whole dash is equal to k u dash and uh, you can memorize easily if you know this list and uh, when the problem comes you need not uh, write the formula directly you can apply the formula and that is very important yeah that's why you should practice with this type of questions and with this much i'll conclude this session in the next session let us practice some questions on this concept thank you